Hello, YouTube. All right. Back in we go. Doing a little bit of free side. Well, I was regular on YouTube until you put Revengeance on points goal. Yeah, but you were originally over here as well. You're farming points for another event like that. I'm just happy if you drop by, period. And I'm going to actually adjust something just slightly. Okay. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Because that way you can see my health. Um, I can't believe I placed it. Because that was just eyeballing it. Does that work for everybody? Works for me. So it's just, you can see my health and like the compass easier. I don't know what the next big thing is going to be. Uh, where am I going to go? Followers of the apocalypse. Could go deal with some NCR stuff. Okay. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Not quite. Uh. Actually. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot I completely, like, robbed. Uh, oh. Maintain it. I forgot I completely robbed the fucking Silver Rush hard. Okay, uh, we will actually want to go to world map first because... North Vegas, that's Crimson Caravan. Alright, let's uh, head in here and dump off some stuff with, uh... Thank you for visiting New Vegas. No problem. You're still... You do not look good, my dude. Might want to go see a doctor. What the hell? Um... Okay. All right, let's head to the high roller suite. I'm just trying to think what, what would be a good uh, game to like put in that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, good thing to put in like a, a points thing because. Okay, I can gonna get rid of those. Oh Jesus, plasma caster. MF. Oh, I'm not. Uh, oh, I'm. I have. I need more guns. DMC five. I have played that. Alright. Uh, You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Mm. What's up? Uh. Why did? Nice. And I believe EDE should be here as well. There he is. Hey. Where to, partner? Uh, 
Let's go back to the casino. Casino floor. Hey. In case you're wondering why I left her there, one, I want to just roll solo for a minute, because you know what's interesting? Uh, 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 actually, you know what? I'm just going to, uh, I'm looking, I'm just going to block my health. It, the fact I'm f sitting here kind of floating doesn't look great. There we go. Sorry, I was looking at it. This is the only game you aren't a dead family member, like John Death, kind of. Eh, I don't know. Are you saying this is uh, the first canonical character that is not a member of the family of Death? Hmm. I think where I think I actually wanted to go. Here. I think they're in the. There's a companion I want to get in the Mojave outpost. You failed, it's Jover. I'm still playing. You never know. I think they're here. Because hmm. remember, th they don't tech. They don't canonically become a member until you say they do, and what about Final Fantasy VI? Uh, what do you mean for, uh... Oh, ha. Huh. Oh, there they are. Hey, what's up? Hey, Lacey. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Uh... Any work, work around, around here? here? Might check with Jackson in the main building or ghost up on the roof above, but watch Well, you out. should give us a list of game you are actually interested in. Hmm. I'm Don't not tell sure. Her I said that though. Might take a bullet some night when I'm going to the latrine. <laughs> what do you have for trade? Luck. I'm not gonna let anything stand between me and that money. You must be in Mojave, Arizona. You're in Mojave, California. Uh whichever one is near Las Vegas. Okay, what do we got? Uh, actually, might as well grab those while I'm here. And, uh, oh, I'll take all the... Uh, five, five, six. What is uh that can you oh he uses five five six. Ooh. Hollow points? Armor piercing. Alright. Uh, Hunting revolver match barrel? Hmm. Citizens aren't that unsufferable. That's how you know you're not in California. You all yeah. Because I, where is Vegas? Is that in Arizona? I legit don't remember. Las Vegas. Well, oh, it's, it's in Nevada, obviously. Okay, you know what? Do that. No, give me all that. There you go. Fine then. We won't go quiet. Alright, what's my Okay. Oh. Oh, there you are. Hey Cass. Looking for trouble? No, only looking around. Well keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Damn. Got no time for gawkers or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. Uh how about a drink instead? How about a drink? 
How about a couple is what you mean? Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough mm -hmm. people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. What are you trying to forget? Past my caravan heading north, the driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo, they just burned that too. Might have been fiends, they're crazy like that. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. Damn. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a brotherhood. <laughs> okay, I, I, I like her. What are you gonna do? Drink. Got a lot of memories to drown. I like your I gun. While doing it, so be it. Got nowhere else to go. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me. Nevada is up left so corner before reaching Nevada. Work, okay. My advice: go find the Crimson Caravan Branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. Want to ask you something? What's on your mind? Why are you here at the bar? Whiskey and me are old friends. Keeps me going when times get rough. It looks like, like you can now. simply walk into Got Nevada from the there. business, you know. Had to start transporting water instead of liquor, though. If I hadn't switched over, I'd end my trip with nothing but glass bottles rattling on the back of a Brahmin. <laughs> you take care now. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Anything you can tell me about the outpost? You're looking at it. It's a watering hole without much to brag about. It's like a Brahmin drive gone wrong. It's supposed to be a gate north, but you come here, you get caught in the pen. Yep. Better to head back home. If you don't have a gun... Never been to road, America, unfortunately. Don't matter much what you do when you reach here, except stare at that fucking monument outside. That fucking monument Don't outside? even tell me you missed it coming in. It's like NCR showing its dick to all the East. <laughs> if the Republic put as much effort into protecting the East as they put into those two asinine giants outside, then they'd be worth that monument. Statues of two men shaking hands covered in blood. Don't seem to be nothing to brag about. Covered in blood? I'm speaking figurative. Isn't any blood on their damn hands? Of course, when Caesar comes walking through here, there'll be blood for real. And after the blood dries in the sun, he'll melt that piece of jet-induced sculpture down and reshape it into a bull, which by my reckoning is making up for a deficiency of his. Damn. But no matter what the state of his pecker, he's sure giving the West a good fucking. <laughs> one's a ranger, one's an NCR trooper. Supposed to represent unification of West and East. All right. Or some such shit. As far as those two iron lovebirds go, they've got more spine you'll see in a year from the NCR government. I think they're both rangers. One desert, one NCR. I thought you were in America the whole time. I always assumed thing. Well. Well, the vessel is technically... In the Americas. But where? Hmm. Huh. Maybe you're right. Broom tats always throw me off. Well, fine, whatever. They can be shaking each other's dicks. Wouldn't change the Mojave now. You take care now. Now hmm. back to the Avenger and the rendezvous. You come around like a bad hat. Any work around here? If you're looking to sign on with the caravan? No. Traders are bottled up tight. Kinda wish I wasn't born caravan in the USA. Check Not with the Crimson Caravan, eh, maybe. You can't control where you're born. Might have work. Wouldn't know for sure, though. Still, if you got a gun, guts, and feeling like going on patrol, might be some of the soldiers around here have work for you. Any other work? I don't know. Seems to be a lot of attention on Nipton. Word is, one of the snipers in the nest on the roof spotted smoke from the east. Oh, shit. You take care now. Okay. Patrol in the Mojave, huh? And go work for the Crimson Caravan. All right, let's actually go check those out. And I know they like me.
You can't born where you, you can't control where you were born, but you can just try and make the best of it. I was born on the second level of hell, so got to work with what you got. Let's go with ghouls and ghosts. From Hollywood by tape, suspense. Tonight, March two auspicious occasions on radio's outstanding theater of thrills. Max Charge. Ooh. Suspense begins its fifteenth season on the air. Tonight. McLafferty's a hard suspense boss, welcomes but she knows what she's doing director, now. For sure. The distinguished master of mystery and Oop. adventure. I almost grabbed that on instinct. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Robeson. Good evening. On this first program of our new series, we are proud oh. to bring you Miss Patty McCormick, the young star of the Excuse one me? Picture Hello. Of the bad Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Uh, looking for work. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Oh. What do you need me Deliver to do? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Okay, goodbye. It's been a pleasure. If only we could control where we were born and how we look. Well, unfortunately, we cannot sometimes. So, but with that, simply, we make the best of what we have, of what we can do. Oh, there it is. I was I was confused for a sec. I was like But I don't think my father remembers. Okay. And they like me at Camp McCarran. Like he always used to. But at the same time, like the only people who can do that are literally changelings. I guess that means they don't like you so much. But at the same time when you hear about changelings, they always hate how they are because Half of them don't know how they what they actually look like. But on special nights, I'm always allowed. You know. Well, sort of. Tomorrow. That'll be enough stalling. So. I'm not stalling. Val, you mustn't shout at Paula. I apologize. Oh, oh, I heard this. Uh... I'm not. Valerie. I'm sorry, Paula. I apologize. Right. Escape. Escape tonight to a fabulous world where there is a diamond as big as the Ritz. Alright, where? The Columbia Broadcasting System and its affiliated stations boop, present boop, boop, Escape, boop, boop. a new series of programs. I believe these were also actual the radio plays back in the day. Directed by William N. Robeson. In a country as large as ours, there are many Is he below? wonderful corners hidden away. Mystique is a changeling? No, they're a mutant. The imagination of F. Scott Fitzgerald, and located in the pages of his famous short story, The Diamond as Big as the Ritz. It is described in the words Hello. of John Unger, 20 years old. Moshi Mosh. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? No. Actually, I have an invoice for you. From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation, even out here in the waste. You want her powers? To keep them waiting. Was there anything else, or were you just here about the invoice? Uh, you mentioned Vault 22. I might be willing to help. Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Uh, what? Vault 22. Where to begin? I'm listening. Save the sales pitch. All right. Straight to the point. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22... She's immune that can look like any... Yeah. ...of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. 
Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Okay. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. I'll do it. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. That we contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. A that computer, seems sketchy. You understand? Download all the information on the central server to mm. your pip boy. And you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data... Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem... Thanks. You're sketchy. Hi. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Uh, yeah. He asked me to get some data for I Vault 22. I shouldn't anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. Oh. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Oh, boy. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius. And and he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Nope. Didn't okay. Or any of the other mercs? Maybe Hilden and I need to have another no, talk. Wait. I don't mean to see any harm come to Dr. Hildern. Unless by talk, you just mean talk. Yes, yes. Listen, I, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. Mm. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Alright, I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in, I mean it. Goodbye. Right. Good luck. Love your hair, by the way. Hey, uh, we have, uh, yo. Yes. Something else you needed? I'm not the first person you've sent to Vault Twenty Two, am I? I never said you were. You've been speaking to Williams, haven't you? Yes, I have. What difference does it make? Not at all. Informed speculation on my part. Williams is very good at her job, so it remains secure, despite her best efforts. No, you aren't the first person I've sent to the vault. I'm sorry that I neglected to tell you, but I don't see how it makes any difference. I want double the caps, or I spread the word that you're full of shit. All right. I'll admit that it's been difficult to find anyone willing to enter the vault. And I'd rather get the data sooner than later. <laughs> You have a deal. I'll double your reward if you bring me the data. But this is as high as my budget will allow. Now, I know your time is valuable, so I won't waste any more of it. Feel free to show yourself out. Mm-hmm. You've probably noticed the exceptional brightness of the headlights. The lenses are cut from diamonds. Thanks. What a car. I got, I'm getting double the payday. All right. I'll go talk to Alice, and then, you know what? I'll probably go do that vault. Uh, quests. Yeah, let's go back to. Let's take care of that one first. What are we stopping for? This is just a deserted canyon. Oh, we're not there yet, John. It's a little further. Wait. Uh, we'll see. All right, take it easy, Akko. Let's head back to the Crimson. Percy, what's that? That noise. They're sending the hook. I will be right back. Actually, I need to yes, use the washroom. I have returned. All right, let us continue on. Well, how big is it? I suppose you mean the number of rooms. I think it's around 140. But All right. Ring oh, hey, Ringo. Exactly. Then, of course, there are other buildings. Oh, is it? If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Ooh. What you have for sale? Can do. Vague, huh? Okay. Why not? Oh, things were arranged. <laughs> I don't see how that's possible. Believe me, it hasn't been easy. I understand mm. Grandfather had to bribe three government bureaus, a vice president, and half of Congress once to keep this place off of the map. Oh, but surely somebody stumbled onto it. Uh, prospectors, people like that? Oh, yes, that happens occasionally. Then, of course, we have... To oh, and uh, give me all the 556 you got. Not always. Usually, we just take them prisoner and keep them. Same as the aviators. Oh, Thank you, AJ. I appreciate that. They fly over. Of course, they never get away. 
We have nine anti aircraft batteries around the hill. What do we got? You shoot them down? Oh, yes, great sport. It does upset mother a bit, though. Hmm. And there's always a chance that one might get away. That's father's greatest worry. This place, this whole thing is fantastic. Radiation suit? Oh, come now, oh. John. I picked you for a fellow with his feet on the ground. And you haven't seen anything. Don't need a rocket. This is only the big ending. Ooh. Give me all of those. I'll take the super stim packs as well. And it was only the beginning. Tales of Chivalry. Bye. See ya. Thank you kindly. All right, let's go talk to Alice Rafferty. Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Delivered the invoice. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? What do you have available? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. Mm. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Uh, negotiations? There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Hey. Cass frequently trades with the NCR. Hey, Demon, so welcome back. So you find her at the Mojave Outpost. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Was there something else? Uh. Goodbye. It's All right, I'll deal with Cass no. later. Or at least not exactly. I'm from Haiti. Well. Missouri. Actually, let's go to the Mojave Outpost. Let's deal with that one now, and then I'll go to, uh... Because I know you can get Cass as a companion. First recon's at Camp Forlorn Now we've got a chance to hold it. I hope you won't be offended, but... You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Yes, I know. What? I surprised you, didn't I? A year ago, I would have said thank you. But father says he's very nice. Hey, Carlos. <laughs> Do you prefer to go by Carlos or Miguel or... You're pretty sophisticated, aren't you? You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Uh, they want to... Crimson Caravans, I mean, they want to buy your caravan. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. Wait, what happened with your Mojave caravan? Happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't Wait, you are in California in the game? Heard. Uh, so if you want to buy not that capacity I'm... caravans, no, you're uh, Nevada. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. So even if you have nothing, you won't sell. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. I have the offer letter here. The terms Alice are McLafferty, fair. McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Are you sure? Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive. You can call me Especially whatever you want. Get to know. Okay. Just doesn't feel I'll right. probably swap Trading between, history, like, Carlos or Miguel. Paper. You made the caravan. You're responsible for killing it. What did you just say to me? Because you sure as hell got my attention now. I believe, maybe honest, but at least I'm not blinded by pride. 
That's fair. But there's been that voice inside me saying the same thing, and whiskey wasn't killing it. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Yep. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. What will you do now? No idea. Maybe head back west. Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. You could come with me. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? Stay here. You know exactly what's going to happen day in, day out. So fighting boredom is your argument, huh? Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here. That's for sure. All right. I'm in. Hell yeah. Feels good not to have to drag a Brahmin train across the Mojave. All right. First recon's at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we got a chance to hold it. Well, boys, how are you getting along? All right. Down there. About 50, as I recall. Who are they? Right. Let's uh, go take care of uh, Crimson Caravan first. Right. And then Cassie, uh, Cass will accompany me to uh, Vault 22. Let's see what you got. Uh, there you go. Oh, guess you don't like that. Let me save quickly. Is Silver Queen Road on that map? Uh, I'd have to... It doesn't give me uh, street names, but we got like uh, Nipton. Uh, I know Prim and Good Springs are real. The Sierra Highway, I would not know. I just know some of these places are real, like Prim and Good Springs and the like. Welcome back. Garvin Cassidy Garvin bought out? Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. All right. It's been a pleasure. One morning late in the See ya. I slipped off the to the road. They spelled Mojave wrong. It's the place supposed to be in Arizona, but can't blame them. I think we ought to allow Yeah. Uh, I don't Uh, let's go here. There stands the grass. Alright, what is the closest thing I have to it? Wait for that. Why is it giving me that? Hang on. Sure. You mean they told and your father Oh, they didn't get a chance to. Father had to be sure. Oh. Murder. What else could we do? In the cave. Well, you probably know right away that. since you're in town in the game. Probably a mix up between cities. Well, yeah. Well, just cuz also almost any uh any uh place uh refers to it with the J. And like, and also there's like the big mods are called like Project Nevada or like Mission Mojave, that kind of thing. But yeah, how can you not confuse Mojave with Mojave? Because, well, motherfucker. 
I did not. You said that. Ow. We were nobody. We were joking. You two haven't any business here anyway. You fine? Uh, go read. Go pick out. So let me find you here when I come back. Nope. Unless you're crouching, you can't do that. Jeez. God damn it, I couldn't see where it was. Nope. Yeah, damn. Yeah, one letter difference, but they're also pronounced like the exact same. You know what I mean? If you won't take me, I'll go tell him I'll when it's a J, it's still a ha sound. Mojave. Like, or depending on how the Mohave. I was not aware. Or the Mojave. If you want to go with the hard J. The Moja, the Mojave. <laughs> Sorry, I just cracked myself up with that. Actually, come here. Let's deal. Uh, give her some sunglasses. That's dope. He came out here from Virginia after the war between the states and stumbled onto it. Onto what? The diamond. That's what made this all possible, of course. Oh. Oh shit. Wow, shit. Then he started building this place. He put his money in jewels. God damn. But why the secrecy? That's one. Yeah, I know you're hit. I'm aiming for you. Ah, nice. Good, good shot, Cass. Okay. Give me that. Give me that. There we go. It was nearly midnight. I don't know what woke me, but all of a sudden I was staring across the patches of moonlight spotting the ermine carpet of my bedroom. Staring at three slaves I'd never seen before. Both pronounced the same. They just yeah. slipped inside the door and stood there. Ooh. Each with a vicious length of shiny copper wire. The official executioners. Disassembled weapons they shipment. For the gun runners? They didn't know I'd wake him. They began edging across the room. Come on, all three of you. There's no time now for this. All hell broke Hurry. I took one long deep breath, the first one in several moments, and then I was out of the bed in an instant, throwing on my clothes and dashing through the long Okay, I don't. First, first. Are you awake? Actually. Let's deal. Alright. Uh, laser rifle. Do you want any of those? Those are fucking Cazadors. Oh boy. Hello.
You all suck to an immense degree. Fucking hate these things. Yeah, and you see why. Well, you better get some sleep, kid. I'm gonna walk down the path a little ways. Oh, you'll come back. Ooh. At the edge of the wood, I stopped and looked out across the valley toward the wrecked chateau. Wanna on a stick? In the the bombing has stopped. Give me the some damage resistance. The plateau, seeking some sort of formation. Then first things first. Mold, The first one strode imperiously ahead, and the other two bore a heavy burden between them. It was Mr. Washington and two of the slaves. Squirrel on a stick. Just behind a rock and stood motionless, watching them. The burden they held up to the heavens was an immense diamond. Catching the first faint rays of the dawn and gleaming like a fragment of the morning star. This is why Cazadors suck. That is why I fucking hate Cazadors. You mean they told and your father Oh, they didn't get a chance to. Father had to be sure. Well, that's murder. And what else would you do? In the game, well, they'd have been a constant reproach to us. And father does it so nicely. They're always drugged in their sleep, and then we tell their families they died of scarlet fever and you. Alright. Sure Let's try again. Affair. Of all the horror. Oh, it is not. After all, it'd be terribly boring here without ever having anybody. My father and mother have sacrificed some of their best friends. Well, you're no better than the. Hmm. Okay. Welcome, fellow ladies and gentlemen, to consumer goods. I am Count Zero, your host. First death out of all streams. It uh, it happens. Cazadors suck. And honestly, I'm probably gonna bad guys won't see us coming. Excuse me. May I help you? No. Oh wait. Shit. Let's go to the tool factory. Just give us a much. Maybe we won't have to deal with the goddamn. <sighs> well, I'm annoyed I don't have to deal with the fiends because that fucking gun runner shipment was worth something. Alright, what do you got? What? Huh. Don't let him come, Tommy. Now I've been seeing the door of the eye. I'll let him let the stone man nail him instead. The wind's hideout. Hi. I keep hearing about some curse. What are you doing here, stranger? You looking to start some trouble? Who are you? Me? I'm Sammy of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous <laughs> and notorious criminal duo. What? You better not mess with us or you'll end up face down in a shallow grave. You sound pretty tough. I wonder why I've never heard of you. Simple. 
Up until now, we committed our crimes stealthily, leaving no evidence behind, so we never built a rep. I see. But that's going to change with our next score. You just wait and see. What's your plan? You'll have to ask Pauline about that. She's the brains of our operation. I'm the muscle. Goodbye. Hey there. You best not try any funny business, stranger. One word from me, and Vance will plant you in the ground. Wait, who are you? I'm Pauline, of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal couple. You'd best not mess with us, or you'll have a bullet hole where your eye used to be. You sound pretty tough. Why haven't I heard of you two? We ain't never heard of you either. So the not being impressed is mutual. Come a week or so, though, and everyone will have heard of Sammy He's and just Pauline. like me? Just, uh, just a bit. What's your plan? Sammy and me got our hands on a powerful weapon not too long ago. Vance's gun. You know Vance? Of Vance and Vicky? That gun's our shot at the big time. We're gonna sneak it in on the strip <laughs> and rob one of the casinos. Oh my god. Maybe all of them. <laughs> we'll be known as the great Oh really? You're gonna go into the strip the and rings. rob them? That's the greatest really? plan I've ever heard in my you life. Think so? We've only got the one gun, and there's two of us. And we've never done anything like this before. We've never been on the strip either, so we don't know how many guards the casinos have. <laughs> what are we thinking? We're going to get ourselves killed. Look, tell Sammy to give you the gun, all right? Just take it. I don't want it around tempting us to do something stupid. See you later. Bye. This better be good, stranger. Pauline says you should give me the gun. Really? Oh, thank God. I love that woman, but I swear this time she was going to get us killed. The gun's in the safe. The combination's 5, 23, 34. Take it far away from here before she changes her mind. Goodbye. See you. You know what? I, I, I'm just going to take the gun. You kids, be safe. And fuck me, that's actually a decent gun. Okay. Also, he needs to lose that hat if he wants to be accurate like you. I don't think he's going for a cosplay of the humble host. I'd be flattered. But not quite. Hmm. Ooh, there we go. We'll, we'll rock that gun for a bit. I don't know why a little bit of banjo just kind of suits the walking through the wasteland. All right, we're gonna fight those fiends again because getting that uh, shipment wouldn't actually be a bad thing. Got something over there. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna go for a cosplay but without cutting my hair. Oh, that works. Cosplay is fun. It's insanely difficult. Well, it's to do it very well is very hard, but there is a very low barrier to entry. Then again, the people I follow and are interested in are literal professional cosplay. I'm going to save here just in case. Fucking Cazadors. Oh, hi. Guess who won the lottery? Y'all fish trail broke the boat in the weed down. Y'all fish line. Yeah. Okay, good. 
Fuck you, Cazadors. Give me your poison glands. I'm just being careful because I saw those fuckers. What were you eat? Oh. Nope. Fly away. Give me that. I might need up my survival look. Ow. Oh, wait. Where are you? Okay, I was like, okay. Poison was removed. Thank fuck. And... Six, seven. There we go. Give me that barrel cactus fruit. Thank you, Kaim. Mm. Oh. Oh, looks like we found it. Stay out, plant, kill. Ooh. And then the fight starts. Oh. Damn it. Oh. There we go. Honestly, don't need anything from the mantises, I think. Jeez. Place is fucking. Right, let's go in. Ooh, programmers Digest. Oh, yeah, it's the expedition. All right. I'll take those just in case. Oh, leave. Okay, I don't have the repair I need for that. Nah, we need something a little different now. Oxygen recycling. The Texas Rangers. Texas Rangers, first to advance, last to retreat. Texas, more than 260,000 square miles. And 50 men who make mm. the most famous and oldest law enforcement body in North America. Hello. Oh. Oh, more expeditions. Okay. UV light? Interesting. Oh. And check inventory. It's all good. Put your knife away. Okay, 
what is dang oh I was like, what are you getting ready to stab? I thought she was going to jump me for a sec. I was like, Production. Whoa. Let's kick this Whatever the fuck a spore carrier is. Sorry, I'm paranoid now. Oh, god damn it. Hello. So I, I gotta be careful of the fucking just things of just ah, sorry the piles of dirt and shit. Well, whatever a fucking spore carrier is. Okay, huh. that was creepy. Yeah, it was. Even I'm like, goddamn. Okay. What on earth? Okay. Can't use the elevator. All right, let's keep going down. Oh. Okay. Listen, Gollum Jr. Okay, they don't have anything on them. Something's going wrong in here. Oh hi. Got him spied. No. I'm just eighteen rats. Oh Jesus. Okay, so this place is just, you know, radiation fucking central. Case running up, I'm checking like to see if there's any like magazines scattered in there, ammo, anything. Hmm. Oh, overseer's office. I was half expecting there to be like unlock crew quarters, unlock cabin, unlock. Okay. Unlocked all this stuff at least. Now I'm just paranoid. It's like Rails are broken through from the inside, see? Pushed out. Be unlikely a man would steal a hog, even if somebody to spot him, so why? Lower level. Hogs broke out the scared. Well, if the killer cut across the sty, there's no chance of finding the Sorry, I'm looking because I'm expecting spore carriers. Cause they blend it. Oh, oh hi.
Nice shot. 